Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to save a document as a PDF file in Word 2010. So here I have a sample file with some dummy text and so on in it. I've got some graphics in it. I've got these diagrams, by the way, are taken from Wikipedia. And I have a table down at the end of this one page document. And then there will be times when I will need a read-only version of this document, perhaps to send to a, a colleague or send to a client or send to somebody where you want the format retained, you want the document to look the same as it is uh, on most computers, and also you may not want the content to be easily changed by the person who is receiving the document. I'm going to show you two ways how you can save this as a PDF. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. And the first of these ways is to send it as an email to somebody. So to do that, I'm going to check on the uh, file ribbon across the top, uh, move down to the Save and Send option here on the left-hand side, so click that. And this gives us different options as far as saving my document. The first one I want to look at here is over here in the middle, where there is a button to send my document as a PDF. So I'm going to click on that button there. And what this will do is it will allow me to email the document as a PDF file. If you look carefully at, this, at the attachment here in the center, you will see Adobe's PDF uh, reader lo logo there to the left of the document name. Um, I'm going to email this to myself uh, so that I can take a look at it. i just put in some sample uh, text in here and click on send. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to, uh, I use uh, Outlook as my email client. And you can see here the document is coming in as an email to myself. Double click on the attachment. And you can see that all the text formatting has been retained. I've got my colored charts, I've got my different uh, italic and main text, my, my section headings, and my table have all been shown here uh, as part of my diagram. So this is a PDF file, uh, content cannot be changed. So I'm just going to close that down and uh, minimize my Outlook and show you the second way. A second simple way is if you want to uh, create the PDF file for you to keep for yourself on your computer. So once again, choose File, the file ribbon, select Save and Send here on the left-hand side. And in the middle column here, down at the very, very bottom, there's an option to just create the file. This doesn't mean, this means it will not be emailed to anybody. So I'm going to click on the Create PDF option here. And this brings me up to one but one option here to click the Create PDF or XPS button. So I'm going to click on that. This allows me to save my file. So I'm going to, um, and I've got the Open File After Publishing option clicked here so as I can see it. So click on Publish. And once again, you can see here Adobe's Reader, which, by the way, if you don't haven't got, you can download for free from the internet. Uh, adobe.com is where you'll get that and once again it's the same document as before i've got my text and my tables and my charts everything retained and this is a read-only file from my word document so back in my word document i can make some more changes i can add some text and i can recreate the pdf document if for example i want to email it to a colleague uh, and i don't want my content to be changed or i'm preparing it for a report uh, or to be sent to a printers and I just want to have a simple read-only document. So that's how you create a PDF file in Microsoft Word. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.